Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We get to do another Halloween picture today. Um, I hope we're not haunted and blood gets all over the place again, but um, well, let's hope not. Um, today we're going to work in the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween coloring book. I am so very excited. I haven't colored in this in some time. I have two of them. I love it so much. So yes, um, I had to pull this page right here. This is one of my favorite pages. I don't know why, it just is. Um, I have colored this page before, and what we are going to do today is a little inspired on what I did on that one years ago, but we're gonna do it a little differently. Um, I'll show you that at the end. So to start with, I wanted to make like a mask for our girl, because we're gonna use some inks. So I've made a mask to cover her up so she doesn't get any ink on her. And uh, I'll tell you, I used my light box to do this. So I just, I have a light box in me. I don't even know if you can call it a light box anymore, a light tablet, a light piece of paper, my goodness. Um, anyway, it just lights up. You can put two pieces of paper down. You can see through the top paper to draw what's on the bottom paper. Um, I took photography in high school <laughs> and got my photographer's license. It's so outdated at this point because we didn't have digital. So anyways, <laughs> I was thinking about it in in that class we had like this huge light box it was like a whole it was like a table it sat in the corner when you first walked in the room and now I have a light box that's like thinner than my coloring book like it's so thin and I like lose it I can't I'm like where did I put that because I'll like just stick it in between things I'm like oh just stick it here out of the way and it's like in between I'm like I can't find it so I just am amazed sometimes in my 35 years of life, how far technology has advanced and what a difference we have now. Um, okay, off the soapbox. Okay, I was getting nostalgic. So I have Distress Oxide inks here. And um, this is, this picture, she calls it um, Voodoo in the Bayou. Yeah, bayou. And so the bayou is a swamp. And so I'm thinking we need to do like greens. And so I have it kind of going from green to a yellow green. Here, my, um, here we go. So I have faded jeans, Everbow, rustic wilderness, and twisted cit citron. Citron, citron. So I'm going to have the darker, I'm gonna start with the darker color at the horizon, which here's the horizon here. And then everything this way is water and everything this way is sky. And so we're gonna put the darkest color here and work to the lightest. And then in the water, we're going to do the opposite. We're gonna have the darkest and work towards the lightest. So that's what we're going to do. Ooh, okay, I'm trying to decide, no, I don't want, okay. I was like, do I want to mask each section? But I don't think I do. I just want to go in. So let me set this up so that we, I'll put my little friends here. Okay, there's all of that in. Frame. I'm going the wrong direction. Okay, what is that? I don't know. Oh, okay. No, no, no. There, 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 and there. Okay. 
it in my com little thing on my computer. I'm sorry, I can't move it anymore. Oh, I'm a mess. My son was suspended for a day and a half, and so I had to uh, teach homeschool yesterday with no notice, and uh, oh, he's still feeling a little flustered. Okay, so... Let's go into our Faded Jean, and this is a brand new stamp, or a blender, and a new color for me, so kind of work it into that stamper a little bit, to that blender. All right, so this is going to go, and I don't care, the only, I masked her, because I don't want any of the ink to get on her, but I don't care if it gets on any of the trees, any of this stuff, because it doesn't matter, okay? We're, we're not going to use it, so I don't care about any of that. So I'm going to put this at the, I'm going to go right over the line, because we're going to have it on both sides, right? We're going to go dark to light, and dark to light, so... We're going to put this right at that horizon line. Okay. Bring the blue up a little bit on the top a little more, but not so much at the bottom because we have a smaller space to work. Okay, so there's that color. I'm gonna use two of these, I think, so I can go back and forth. So now we go into this green color. Is this the next darkest, would you say? Well, it's the next bluest. We'll go with it, it'll be fine. Okay, so then we come here and I wanna go over that blue a little bit. And we'll come over here and go into that blue a little bit. I'm gonna take my sponge, I'm not gonna get any more ink, I'm just gonna go so I can kind of switch back and forth so I get a really nice, oh, hello. Are you not focusing? Please don't do that. My goodness, can you focus? So, it's freaking me out. Maybe we are haunted. So, whew. all right. All right, and then we'll bring this green lightly up here. All right, and then we want this green here as well, but we don't want to take as much space up, so I'll blend it here. Okay, then we'll keep that one. We'll take this blue off because we're done with it. We'll go to this green. Okay. All right, so let's... Yeah, this was the right choice. I was worried I picked the wrong order, but I think this works because this one's more yellow. This one has more yellow tone than blue because blue and make blue and yellow make green. But if you have more blue in there or more yellow, that's what I was looking at. <clears throat> Up. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna grab this one again and bring it up a little higher into this. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into this one. And we're gonna bring it a little higher. Okay, then I'm also, I need to bring you some down here. So we'll go here. And again, I don't care about any of this stuff. I just wanna make sure all the water gets covered. I don't care about preserving any of that. It is raining today. Oh my goodness. It's like coming and going. I love it. It's so fall. I love it. Okay. So we bring it down. Okay. I still think I want to bring this a little bit higher. Just lightly. Not full on, but... Okay, then we'll take this one off and move to the citron, citron, citron. All right. This is a beautiful bright color. That beautiful color. We'll get, see if we can get a nice blend. We'll make sure we get the corners really good. Edges really good. Sometimes blending these makes my hand hurt. <laughs> Thank you, nice arthritis. You're so good to me. Okay, um, let's grab that green a little bit and we'll just blend it into there. Okay. That's really nice. And then we want this color down here as well. Okay. Making sure I have all the edges, everything I want. Nice blend in there. Okay. I like it. I like that. That is really nice. <clears throat> All right, now we need to take off our mask and hope that we covered the right things and not the wrong things. So here we go. See how well I did. I'm not, 
<laughs> the greatest fussy cutter. Oh no, we did good. So far, so good. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with that. That is awesome. All right, I'm gonna let all the inks dry and then we'll come back in and I'll show you what else we're gonna do the background in a second. Okay, so here she is. The ink is ready. Oh, it looks so nice. So our next thing we're going to do is we're gonna blacken out all of these. Uh, trees and vines and uh, other details. That's what we're going to do. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and then I'm gonna go do it by myself because you guys aren't the best conversationalists and uh, <laughs> this is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna do it while I watch a true crime or something. Um, but let me show you what I'm going to do. I feel like all of my smaller brushes have like wandered off. Do any of your guys' stuff wander off? Mine does. Ugh. Okay. So, oh, I should show you what I'm using before I take the lid off. Wouldn't that be bad? Oh my gosh. I like tip it. Okay. So, <laughs> this is black gesso. Um, this one's by Golden. You don't have to use Golden's. You can use whatever you have, or you can use like Americana craft paint. That works great too, and it's like a dollar. So if this is not in your price point, go for that. It works great. It's awesome. Um, I like something that is matte and something that covers pretty, I don't have to do more than one coat because because I'm lazy or I'm overworked or something. I don't, I don't know. There's a smaller brush. Let's see what else I have. Here's a smaller brush. Do I have any round smaller brushes? No. They've all ran away. All right, well, we'll start with that and see how we do. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to blacken out all this stuff, but then leave like these little holes of color. So that's the goal here. So make sure you're using a brush that is appropriate for um, the activity, you know? Don't use a giant brush if you're doing little tiny things and don't use a teeny tiny brush if you're using pure painting in large things. It's too much work, don't do it. So I'm going to just paint this in. If you are not a painter, you do not feel comfortable with a paintbrush, you can get like Posca paint pens. You could use those. Or heck, take a black Sharpie if that's what you have and that's what you wanna use. It's fine. And I will trim this paper so I'm not worried about going over that edge line because we'll trim it off and make everything look really clean. 
so there's no issues there. I colored this picture years ago. It's so fun to go back and color it again and see. It'll be interesting to see which one I like better. Okay. Right, so we have this tree limb here that's touching, then it comes down into here, and then we have this right there, and then we have a little right there. Okay, so I am trying to get these things to look you know, like they are twisted up and everything in there. So you do get those little spots of color coming through. All right, so here it is with the background all done. I love a background like this. I think it's so much fun. I think to just finish the background, we'll take a little uh, white gel pen. And do over, I don't think that's the one I want. Go over the lines in the water, I think. We'll do that. Yeah, and then that's gonna finish it for our background today. I'm gonna color her on Thursday. So come on Thursday and I will color her and then we'll take a look at the difference between this one and the one I colored years ago. I don't wanna look at it yet until I finish this one. So come back on Thursday, we'll finish her up. And then uh, take a look at that. Wednesday, I will be streaming live at noon, Mountain Standard Time. And um, we'll be finishing the chibi horror picture that we were working on. Last Wednesday, when I was sadly <laughs> interrupted and we didn't get to finish. So... That will be coming out on Wednesday. And uh, then we'll finish this on Thursday. And we'll do something new on Friday. So I'm excited. It'll be a fun week. Yeah, I really like these. There we go. All right, you guys. I hope you have an awesome week, weekend. Please come back on Thursday for us to finish this picture. We will be coloring our girl here. And I hope you guys have an awesome week, weekend, that you find time to relax, take some deep breaths, throw some color around, have some fun. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.